the Royal Navy's dual frigate program, consisting of the Type 26 City class and Type 31 Inspiration class, marks a significant step in modernizing the UK's maritime forces. These frigates reflect distinct yet complementary approaches to naval power, ensuring that the Royal Navy maintains strategic dominance across the range of operational scenarios. By leveraging high-end capabilities in the Type 26 and cost-effective versatility in the Type 31, Britain is positioning itself to tackle the complex challenges of modern maritime warfare. The Type 26 frigate is purpose-built for high-threat environments, particularly in anti-submarine warfare. With the increasing sophistication of submarine technologies, especially from rivals like Russia and China, the Type 26 plays a critical role in protecting both nuclear deterrence assets and carrier strike groups. Its combination of advanced sonar systems, including the Sonar 2087 and bio-mounted sonar, with its quad hull design, ensures unparalleled anti-submarine warfare capabilities. Equipped with the Mark 31 vertical launch system, the Type 26 has the flexibility to deploy a variety of missile systems, ranging from sea scepter for air defense to potential land attack and anti-ship weapons. This makes it a versatile platform for a mission beyond anti-submarine warfare, including multi-domain warfare and humanitarian operations, thanks to its adaptable mission bay. A 7,000 nautical miles range ensures global reach, enabling deployments in contest regions like the North Atlantic, Arctic, and Indo Pacific areas critical to UK interests. The TAP 26 has already gained international traction, with Australia and Canada adopting its design, showcasing its global appeal as the cutting-edge naval solution. In contrast, the TAP-31 emphasizes affordability and adaptability, catering to operations in lower-intensity environments. It is an ideal platform for maritime security, counter-piracy, and escort duties, as well as contributing to disaster relief. Despite its simpler design compared to the TAP-26, the TAP-31 retains robust self-defense systems, including Sea Scepter missiles and a 57mm main gun. The modular architecture of the TAP-31 ensures it can be easily upgraded to meet emerging threats, making it future-proof and attractive to nations with tighter budgets. Its role as a general-purpose frigate complements the specialized capabilities of the TAP-26, ensuring a balanced fleet capable of responding to diverse challenges. With a focus on affordability and operational versatility, the TAP-31 has significantly export potential, particularly for nations looking to modernize their navies without incurring the costs of high-end platforms. The design has already picked interest from allied nations, further enhancing its prospects. As this frigate enters service, the Royal Navy will gain a two-tier fleet structure. The Type 26 will lead in NATO and allied operations, securing high-threat areas and bolstering carrier strike group protection. The Type 31, meanwhile, will be more visible in peacetime operations and forward deployments, ensuring a British presence in the regions like the Indian Ocean, Gulf of Aden, and South China Sea, where maintaining freedom and navigation and countering piracy are critical. 
These ships are poised to enhance interoperability with other navies, particularly through NATO exercises and coalition missions, where their specialized roles will reinforce collective maritime security. When compared to regional competitors, the TAP-26 and TAP-31 fleets highlight the Royal Navy's focus on tailored capabilities. The France frame frigates, where the frame frigates offer a blend of anti submarine warfare and general purpose roles, the Royal Navy's separation of these roles into two distinct classes provides a more specialized approach. The German F-125 Baden-Württemberg class. These frigates focus on stabilization missions and extended deployments, but lack the high-end anti submarine warfare capabilities of the TAP-26. The China's TAP-054A. The Chinese frigates are heavily armed for their size, but emphasize mass production and regional dominance. The British focus on global reach and high operability sets the TAP-26 and TAP-31 apart. The U.S. Navy's Constellation class The U.S. frigates offer advanced technology similar to the TAP-26 but are focused on multi-role capabilities, whereas the British ships divide these capabilities across two distinct classes for operational efficiency. The introduction of the TAP-26 and TAP-31 positions the Royal Navy to remain a leader in maritime innovation. Both programs prioritize domestic shipbuilding, supporting the UK's industrial base and boosting economic resilience. Furthermore, the export success of the TAP-26 and the growing interest in the TAP-31 underlie the strategic and financial benefits of these programs. As threats evolve, these frigates will likely incorporate AI-driven systems, unmanned platforms, and network-centric warfare capabilities, ensuring they remain relevant on the 21st century battlefield. The TAP-26 and TAP-31 frigates embody the Royal Navy's commitment to adaptability, innovation, and strategic foresight. By addressing high-end threats while maintaining cost-effective solutions for broader missions, these ships will secure the UK's maritime interests and reinforce its global naval presence. As a combat force, they are well equipped to meet the challenges of an increasing complex maritime domain. <laughs>